Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting and today we've got a white canvas and I've just covered it with a very thin even coat of liquid white. If you want to know how to apply liquid white there's a uh, link in the description below. And let's get started on this one. We'll do like a, uh, a nice little sea, maybe a big tree here. Well, we'll see what happens. So let's start by pulling out a little bit of phthalo blue, a little bit of phthalo blue, and give it a tap. I want this to be a very summery picture, so we'll use some summery colours. A little bit of blue, and let's uh, start in the top corner here and go all the way across, all the way across, and then work down, and work down and automatically it picks up the liquid white and gets lighter and lighter towards the horizon which is what we want okay and let's just go over that look at the sky pretty really simple and then uh, the water I'm not using any masking tape this time I'm just going for it <laughs> water we'll have some of this blue and let's tap a little bit of Phalo green in there, but a little bit. <laughs> Phalo green is very strong. And let's put in our water and we'll start it. Start it at the base here. And then we'll work upwards. And then it gets lighter and lighter towards the horizon, which is what we want. Okay. <laughs> Beat out one of the brushes. Now very uh, lightly, let's just blend, blend this, blend this out. Very lightly, just get rid of the brush strokes. And then we can come down to the water. And do the same. Okay. So we get a nice gradient from uh, our sea to the sky. And we'll start putting in some little details. Maybe we'll have some clouds. Maybe in this one. Get some of this black. Midnight black. I'll put in the... Uh, put in a cloud. Maybe we'll have a... It was all summery. <laughs> Things have changed. A big cloud has appeared. A big cloud. I'm using sort of action, sort of action for our cloud. So last night I was watching a, a documentary on painting and it had Constable in it. And I was watching, I'm always looking at how they do their pictures. Obviously it wasn't like this. <laughs> but he had big clouds in the skies. And I liked it. And using the uh, two inch brush. And we'll just mix all this up. Soften it a little bit at the base. Okay. And then uh, using back to our fan brush, fan brush, get some white. And then we'll highlight, highlight this one side here, maybe the light. So just using tiny little circles up here. Just highlight some of these areas. Let's work some white. Just using tiny little circles though. Or just wherever. Okay. And then there. Uh, where the dark and light meets, just use tiny little circles just to mix it up and use the top corner of the brush so you can see what you're doing. If you use the bottom corner you can't quite see, even though <laughs> for some reason when we start using these big brushes that's how we do it. We want to be using the top though so we can see it. And then lightly lift up, lift up, give your clouds a little bit of air. 
and then go across very lightly just go all the way across and then if you want to just uh, get a paper towel <coughs> just wipe the excess paint off my brush it's a quick way of cleaning it <laughs> quick wipe back into some color maybe we can have some clouds in front of that one so we could always go with some, let's go with some dark maybe get a bit of crimson a bit of crimson in with the dark maybe there's a cloud just corner the brush maybe there's a cloud in front like there add sort of an extra layer to what we've got going there's another one there maybe this is just a bit of one that comes off there and then back to our uh, two inch brush we'll just go over that just move that a little bit all right now let's uh let's put in a little headland there let's go back to our fan brush all right I've just grab this uh fan brush and maybe we've got a little headland in the background so i'll use a little bit of this blue get a dot of crimson in there a bit more crimson okay and then maybe we get a touch of white in there so we've got crimson blue and white i'll keep it quite light okay and then uh, let's put in maybe we've got some land and it sort of goes across like that could just pull that down sort of back there using a one inch brush I'm just going to tap the base of that just to sort of mist it away into the water so it just gets all misty okay and now let's uh, let's start let's start putting some little detail in the sea not too much though we'll use the use the knife a little bit of this white just pull it out flat cut across get a little roll of paint on the knife a little roll of paint and let's uh let's say the detail a little bit of a, a wave here maybe i can just about see and i'm just pull, pushing pushing quite hard just letting the, uh, the paint just roll off. These waves are quite distant. Quite distant. So just indicating that. A little wave. Maybe there's another one in, in the middle there. Uh, maybe. Just very distant. Just indications of waves. Maybe. maybe there's one you can just about see okay it's a very soft picture this one very soft there now let's uh let's start working working on the foreground and we'll put in let's pick up some brown Pick up some brown on the two inch brush. Brown and black, brown and black. Be a little bit of sap green as well. And our land will start. It starts up here. And you can just brush that in, it doesn't really matter. Okay. 
while well, I've got a little bit of paint still on the knife, it'd be nice if I could just have a little bit of a just there. Just felt like it needed something there. Maybe there's a bit there as well. Okay. <laughs> now let's uh, let's put in a tree. Let's put in a tree there. Let's get some of this brown. Let's get some brown. Let's pull out some of this one as well. So let's get some of this white. Put it in with that. So let's do the highlight and the shadow side in one go. So we've got brown here and then the lighter one this side, all on the fan brush. Dark one side, light the other. And then we've got our light is coming this way. So let's put in Oh, tree trunk, <laughs> big tree trunk, and maybe it's there as well. And a bit more so here, and there. Okay, that'll do. And then uh, using our liner brush, liner brush, let's get into let's get a little bit of paint thinner, a little bit of paint thinner, and we'll go into this brown. Just make it nice and thin. Let's come up here, let's put in a branch that goes there. Maybe there. Wherever you want. You can put in all kinds of little branches in here. Maybe there's one that comes across there. Up to you. Do it as detailed as you want it to be. Let's put in some uh, dark on there. Let's use, let's just use the one inch brush. Let's use a one inch brush, get some of this dark. Some gr sap green and some black. Let's get some of that blue as well. Blue, black and sap green. And let's, uh, let's put in some dark. Cover up some of our nice clouds. <laughs> Oh well, we know how to do them. We want to do them again. They're back there. And if you want to see them, you just have to walk around this tree and have a look that way. <laughs> They're still there. Right, and that's a bit there. Okay, that'll do for our dark area on the tree. Now, before I get started on that, using the filbert, I think I'll just get a little bit of crimson, crimson and white, just create like a pink. Make it a little darker. Just want to add a little bit of colour on the on this side of the tree. Just to warm it up a little bit there. And then on the other side of the tree, use another filbert. I'll get a bit of this blue. A little bit of blue. And we'll cool down this side of the tree using a bit of blue. a little bit. This is just playing with colour, using different colours to affect the mood. Okay, now let's use, the, uh, let's use a fan brush. Let's start highlighting this tree. Let's use, let's use some of this cad yellow. Let's make it a quite a 
nice strong green some phthalo green some yellow ochre really strong okay loads of paint loads of paint and using this brush we'll just touch touch and push up touch and push up to highlight these okay, a little bit brighter and if it's not sticking you just uh, all you need to do is get some liquid white or paint thinner and you can put some more on just touching and pushing just touching and pushing let's get a little bit more of that yellow so looking at all the different shapes in your tree and all the different branches let's, let's really make some light ones as well get some of that white make a really light yellow and maybe the light is it's hitting like that bit maybe it's hitting this bit as well it's wherever okay a little bit more more up here Okay, now let's start working on the uh, on the floor area. So I'm just going to use the filbert brush. Get some of this sap green on the filbert. Just pull it through the paint. And instead of uh, what I usually do where I'll tap it, I'm just pulling across the colour pulling across. I'm going to create some green areas. Just grabbing some sap green. Some, some of it's darker and some of it's lighter. And I'll put that in like that. And then using my other filbert brush, I'm going to get some of this blue. Blue, a bit of white. And here and there in the land, I want it to be a bit cooler, so I'll start putting in some blue areas as well. I'm just doing them across, across the picture, because this is a flat area, so I want it to be, I want the brush strokes to say flat. <laughs> and we'll get some of this crimson, crimson and white. Now. Alizarin Crimson is a cool red, so it still works on the ground. So you want that bit maybe, wherever you want. This is sort of a, uh, of an impressionism technique really. You can put just loads of colours next to each other. But it gives you another idea of what you can do. Get some of this lighter green now. It's a bit more yellow. Wherever I want, just put it in. Grab some white. And as you pull that across the paint, it'll pick up some of the colours. And you can create more different areas. And if our light's coming this way, maybe we we'll want to go dark. Let's just put a little dark in that bark. See how I'm starting to <laughs> starting to feel the paint a little better. Start to try and get your emotion involved into the picture. Maybe there's a uh, maybe there's uh, some like plant there. So I'm just grabbing some colour, maybe there's a, just put in an indication of where there's a few plants. So I'm just using direction, I'm using da a downward direction. 
of these. I can put in some little plants. Maybe I'll put in some flowers on some of these. It's just a game of game of directional strokes now. And what you want. So maybe I'll get a little bit of the lighter green as well. Put some of that in front. For the edge, for the edge there. Wherever. It's up to you really. But this uh, using this technique you really need to just put your strokes in and then leave it. Leave it. Have fun with it though. Now let's uh, let's start putting some flowers on. Let's grab the. Uh, oh, I'm got to clean a filbert brush. <laughs> I'll go into some paint thinner. Give it a shake in there. Use a uh, paper towel. Just dry it off. Paper towel. It's clean enough. And now what I can do is maybe there's some flowers there. Let's get some of this bright red. Bright red. Let's get a bit of white as well. That's better. That's better. Some bright. Some bright. So let's get get quite a lot of paint on your brush. Not quite a lot of paint. So you can just allow it to just pull off. Maybe there's some flowers up here. And just put them in wherever you want. There's a few over here as well. You can maybe maybe change the flavour a little bit, go into your crimson, crimson and white. Just load your brush. Maybe there's some crimson ones there. It's up to you. Just touch in. And then uh, have a step back, have a look, see what you want to do. I feel like I feel like it should be a little darker here. So I'm just going to grab some of this brown. Just grab some of this brown and I'm just going to put a few of these in. Just so maybe it leads your eye in. And then maybe maybe I'll put a little let's get some of this white. It's got all kinds of colours in there. Maybe I'll add a little highlight here. Maybe some white there. Just add a little bit of light. Yeah, maybe a little sap green. Maybe a little sap green along here, just on top of this. So you can start layering loads of colours on top of each other as well. Really, <laughs> just having fun with the colour. Having fun. Using nature as your guide, but still doing what you want. It's still your painting. It's still up to you what, what you want on your canvas. I don't want you to be copying. You want to uh, do your own painting. But use the techniques that you learn. What I did when I first started is, obviously, I <laughs> I copied other people's paintings, and then, but I would change it. I'd change little things. I'd put put my tree in a different position, or I'd make it a little bigger than what they did. Just so it was my painting rather than just a complete copy of theirs. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little different to uh, what I've shown you before. And, but as always, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, thanks very much for watching this one. I'll just give it a signature and then we'll. Uh, 
call this one finished. Just going into some uh, paint thinner. Let's get some bright red. And maybe, maybe here. Stick in a little. JB. Okay, thanks very much for watching this painting. Something different, but you could do it. Cheers, bye.